everybody, welcome back to another episode of GG. Uh, doing another of the conversation or discussions over um, the internet due to the whole virus thing once again. Um, and today I have one of my oldest friends that I've known for a very long time. His name is Mike. Mike, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Um, okay, I just feel like I think I need to get out of this seclusion. <laughs> oh, you don't like just so, not interacting with people? It's so much fun. It's like an uh, it's, dream. It's to a point, it's fine, but it's, I need to get out and do stuff. So, um, But obviously I brought you here today because um, I wanted your opinion on what are some of the most important video game series to you over you know all the generations that have transpired. Okay, well, I mean, generation-wise, like, I didn't start until the PS2. I know, I started, I started late, but... I don't think you started late at all. Nah. For me, it was. I felt like cause everyone else had all like the other systems for me. But yeah. uh, on the PS2, I had uh, what was it? The games that I loved the most were Rack, Rash and Clank, uh, Jack and Daxter. Uh, those games yeah. were amazing. Uh, just I loved uh, with Jack and Daxter how um, it started off as like a very children-friendly game, and then as like a second, a third, or, like it progressed to those two games. It was. Uh, it got dark, and I, I loved that series, and it, it gave off, like, Jack 2 gave off a really uh, GTA vibe a little bit. Like... A GTA vibe? Oh, yeah, like, if, if you uh, started killing people, you could, uh, you could get the cops call or whatever, the army would come and attack you and all that stuff, <laughs> and you just avoid them by stealing cars and trying to outrun them and all that, while also just causing massive destruction if you wanted to. I had no idea. I'm not a big Jack and Daxter fan, so I had, I had no idea. Yeah. But I, I, I'm realizing now, like, it had that, a little bit of a GTA vibe in some aspects of the game. But, I, and I, I like that. I didn't know that, but that's so, it took a lot, it sounds like it took a lot of influence from other games to help build a very story-driven action-adventure game, if I'm not wrong. No, yeah, I can, I can see that. At least GTA-wise. I'm trying okay. to think of what other games it could have. I mean, I think it had a little bit of an influence from Ratchet and Clank as well, but... Because uh, they were always kind of like hinting at each other in the games itself. Like sometimes you would actually, I think in Jack 2, you would see like a poster of like Ratchet and Clank on like the one of the walls of, <laughs> in the city. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm pretty sure that you're also a big Uncharted fan. Hell yeah, which is also made by the same company that made Jack and Daxter, Naughty Dog. Yeah. 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 Uncharted... But was those, so I agree with you first off with the the Uncharted series, like 110. percent Like the Uncharted series to me is a, is a, is I feel like if they wanted to make a really good, complete action driven story, like and they took a lot from like Indiana Jones and stuff like that. Like that was like that is the quintess, the quintessential like game series to look at because oh, yeah, totally all like, the over the top action, especially in my opinion, Uncharted Two. Uncharted Two to me was like mm. the most like what the heck? Like every five ten minutes, I'm like, dude, this is just blowing my my head apart. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm falling off the cliffs. I'm doing giant car chases. Like it was insane. And I, mean, I felt like that too with uh, that, Uncharted that Three. Like I didn't even trust at all. Like what? Yeah. What is happening? There's so many double twists. Yeah, and it, like I said, because it was so good at telling a story and then having that action on top of it, um, it took from a lot of other games. It was. It was, to me, phenomenal. I absolutely loved it, so. It, it, I never played like any of the spin-offs, but the main series, like you said, fantastic, phenomenal storytelling. Uh, I could play hours into that and like, like just get lost into it. It was so great. The funny thing is the Uncharted 4, I'm pretty sure the multiplayer is still, still on. My buddy Jordan, he still plays it and he says, yeah, people still play the multiplayer on that, so. I mean, okay, but. You don't play those games for the multiplayer. It's those are <laughs> like story-driven games. Like, no offense to your friend, but that is a <laughs> that is a story-driven game. No, yeah, it's fine. Um, but it's just it's I guess it's just that big of a following because of what that game is that game series has accomplished that people still want to to play it and they want more. I guess so. Okay, and I think and it ended well too. Um, it didn't I think it ended terribly. Really? You didn't you didn't like that ending? You had four games, not including the spin-offs, and nobody died. You just had the same kind of twists and turns of the same thing, so I was very disappointed. 
They have his brother. They could have killed Sully. His wife could have got hurt. Nathan could have died. Anything. If one person died in that series, in number three or number four, I would have been. I would. I would have been fine with the brother dying because, like, he was. You just added the last game. Like, yes, he doesn't matter. But come on, like, give me something. No, I, I, I mean, I was happy with the happy ending, but, uh, but no, yeah, I, like, I would have been happy with the, if the brother died. That would have been totally fine with me. Yeah, it, 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 like, it, it would have made sense. Like, it made perfect sense if they would have killed somebody. Like, hey, we gotta do this. And then they make, like, all these other games that have, you know, um, crazy stuff going on. So I don't know why they like The Last of Us. They made The Last of Us. And right off the bat, within the first ten minutes, his daughter dies. And then his friend, the girl, dies. Like, oh God, they could have they done so much more, I felt, with it, but they didn't. And they just wanted to have this happy, like, Indiana Jones series. So Wasn't heavy, heavy Rain like that, too, where, like, this one of the sons died, like, right in the beginning of the game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they, mm. I felt they, 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 it was a very big missed opportunity. But it is what it is. True. So, um... Let me give you, uh, I'll tell you one of my, I think, biggest game changers or bigger series that has really had a big impact on the industry. Um, so I, it's really hard because there's like so many. And I, I mean, I, I, there's a lot of big series that have been around for a while and I love them. <clears throat> and I didn't start a PS2, I started at the NES. So um, I want to, you know, I, I could say Mario, God, Mario's been around forever, but understandably, like, it's taken a lot of twists and turns, and they've just, no matter what, everyone's gonna buy their games, and it's sometimes, even if they innovate, the game's not that fun compared to other games. So, I feel that one of the best series that's ever been put into in the video games is actually the Metal Gear series. Really? Hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if you're very big in Metal Gear or not. I mean, that's uh, with Snake, right? Yes, yeah, so it's with Snake. Yeah, I mean, Grant, I, I don't know much, because I never played them. Uh, but yeah, like there was, it looked like the story was always changing with us. <laughs> the story was okay, so it was very adult themed, you know. So it came out technically back in Japan on the MSX computer, and it had, it still had story. So we're talking like pre, you know, like NES days, and then lots of story, and then sneaking and action, and then they put it on the PS One, the Two, the Three, and the Four, and they just tried to keep changing the story, involving and changing the characters, and really getting like a. So there's. I feel this is where Uncharted got a lot of its, or Naughty Dog in general, took a lot of um, their way of looking at it is because they made it very thematic. Everything had to just look, the, the angles, why the character was doing this, what the change was. The characters themselves were very um, out there, a lot of bravado and, and just, it was very ambitious and it always paid off um, because I don't think there's like, there's ever been a Metal Gear game that was ever bad. Even, except for the spin-off that Konami, I'm not counting that one, that stupid Metal Gear Survive, because Dale didn't make it. But that series, <clears throat> you know, it really showed um, you could have a very, very engaging story, very thematic, and you could have very diverse cast of characters, and it can just keep changing and adding, and all sorts of crazy stuff can go on. You know, like Uncharted did a little bit, but they could have had way more. So that's why I feel that is one of them. There's a there's another game series. Uh, so I never played the first three, but the God of War uh, number four that was an amazing game. I absolutely I absolutely was, loved it. Uh, just just the way uh, you'd be playing, and then just rolls perfectly into a cutscene, and you weren't like, oh yeah. oh this is happening, okay. Yeah, yeah, Santa Monica did a great job of that. And the fact that you didn't play the first three kind of disappoints me. I know. But the first three were... I'm going to get a lot of shit It was that. just like the typical 80s, 90s, I'm stronger than everybody, I got revenge. Mm -hmm. But then the fourth one, like you said, it was, it was so over the top. You got to see that transition like a lot of other games do with um, when they really try to change their characters up. Yeah, he, he had like a modicum of peace before he gets thrust back yeah. into like uh, the action again. Yeah, he was like, I don't even want to kill anybody anymore. I just want to live my life. Yeah. I want to call my son boy because he's not a man, boy. and just leave it alone. <laughs> and that was just really what it was. And then all of a sudden, you know, Thor's uh, son comes in. And he's like, "What the hell are you doing?" Or what's it? Not Thor's son. What's her face? His son comes in, Balder. Freya. And I think it was now Freya? he's got to fight this dude. And then they go on this crazy journey. And then he 
bonds with his son. He tells him who he used to be, and mm -hmm. you know, like an actual father-son relationship should be. Like it was very in depth. The father is very stubborn, and the mm -hmm. kid is just trying to understand why. Yeah. And then they start <laughs> to get like to know each other. Like it's it's beautiful. Yeah. I love that game. Good good point. I mean, it's it, not was a, it was it was a beautiful time, bond between game. like father and son. Not so much at first, but as the story progressed. No, yeah. Boy. Go on, boy. Go hunting. <laughs> Shut boy. Like that was the whole thing. So but it was it was a good game and I can't wait till that sequel comes out. Mm. Is there any other series that you think that would be you know, up at that top list? Obviously I've, I've excluded Mario because it's just Mario. Well, honestly, I I'm gonna have to say Halo because that was an amazing game for like first person Actually, shooter. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Good point. I, at least for the first three in ODST, I feel, kind of. <laughs> ODST was good. Was... I remember we played that for like, what was it, 12 hours straight as soon as we got it? And we actually yeah, did it. Yeah, as soon as it came out. We, I think we went back to somebody's install, uh, Gary's dorm room. No, it was my dorm room. Played. It was your dorm room. Yeah. Dude, it's a long time ago. I drank. Yeah, it was. No, so much fun. But no, you made a good point because Halo technically was the first, like, <clears throat> really good story-driven console game. Mm -hmm. like First-person shooter, story-driven. Because, like, Half-Life was on PC, and then this came out, and then that was like, what the hell just happened? And then <laughs> Halo 2 came out and revolutionized multiplayer on console, even though it was very slow at first. Oh, yeah. It changed the whole game. And then that became, like, the norm, you know? Xbox Live was the thing, and then everybody had to jump on that bandwagon. Yep. You know, everybody had broadband, but it wasn't, like, Xbox Live, so... That was a that was the big thing. Halo was a great series until mm. was it five? I mean, four was okay. I, yeah, I liked four. I played through it, and I, I really enjoyed like the Spartan Ops aspect, where you have like the little side team kind of doing their own thing, and yeah. uh, you get to see like no, little cutscenes. No, 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 like, I'm not to saying that wasn't bad. It was a good side not story. Bad. But like, I, I yeah. honestly, I didn't even finish the what was it, Halo Five Guardians or what is it called? It's bad. I, it's so bad. Yeah. It should have never been made. Yeah. But hopefully Halo 6, um... The Halo Infinite? I mean, it looks like they're starting it at the end of Halo 3 again. He's in the space, and then... Is it? Oh, here comes the aliens, and I was like... Ah. Honestly, so it kind of looks like they're just going to reboot it. I don't know if it's, like, end of... Well, it might be end of Halo 3, but... Cause no, no, like, in terms of, like, how it ended. He's just floating in space, oh. they find him, they turn him back on. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. I, hopefully it's good. I can't tell. It does look good, though, aesthetically. It's yeah, it does. It's very, very good looking. <laughs> Super clean. So, but either way, Mike, um, I just want to thank you for taking the time to have this conversation with me. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for uh, having me. This is great. Absolutely, dude. Uh, probably, if anything, maybe I can get you on another time. Hey, I'm looking forward to that. All right, cool. Uh, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode. GG. Later.